you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for our human. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for our human. You are God all by yourself. And shame our back. How I do fail. And shame our back. How I yield. In the way I do the Emma Sheba, Esheba, Esheba, how I do bear, Esheba, Esheba, how I yield. In the way I do the Emma Sheba. Baba, he knew where you ever see. He won you all. He let you marry all go go. He won you all. I will marry you. I love you. Hey, me. Hey, me. Oh, 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 oh. Ele do mari o gao go e ini o olonu tu ele do mari ala para kato da ye le itiwa kato da onu le tin joba olonu baba olonu momo Dependable, Dependable God, He is a dependable God. Dependable, dependable God, You are dependable, dependable, dependable God. Call Him unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable God.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, Lord. We give you honor, Lord. We give you adoration, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. We award you to be praised, Lord. You are worthy to be honored, Lord. You are worthy to be adored, Lord. You are worthy to be exalted. 
there is no life unto you. Father, take all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray this morning and say, Father, this evening, say, Father, as I come before you this evening to learn at your feet, Lord, teach me yourself in the name of Jesus. Pray, say, Father, teach me yourself. As I come this evening, teach me yourself, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, let me hear from your tune of grace. Let me hear from your tune of grace. Father, let me hear from your tune of grace. In the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word give it life. And give it understanding to the simple. As the word is saying this evening, let it give life that your name may be glorified. Thank you, our Father. Let's be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Tonight, we'll be teaching on the wonders of his mercy. The wonders of his mercy. And our Bible text is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 3, 13 to 16. The book of Romans, chapter 3, chapter 9, verse 13 to 16, and it reads, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. I prayed for somebody this evening. The Lord will have mercy on you in Jesus' name. The Lord will show you mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be fighting like someone who is beating the hair. Every effort you put in now into your businesses, into your endeavors, into your vocations, and into the work of the Lord, there shall be results in the name of Jesus Christ. When there is no result in your life, people will insult you. But when there is results, their mouth shall be kept quiet. And mercy brings results. I want to say, Father, let your mercy, let your mercy bring results into my life, into all I do, into every activity that I lay my hand on from now on, in the name of Jesus. Ask Lord to shut the mouth of those that have insulted you, that may want to insult you with results in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Pray for somebody this evening. Your lives will begin to bring, will begin to bring results. Your activities, your endeavors, everything you put your hand on now to do will bring results that will show the mark of people that have been sorting you before. So shall I leave you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Quickly, we want to examine the word or the topic, the wonders of his mercy. The wonders of his mercy. The Bible describes the mercy of God in five ways. But before then, the journey to greatness in life can be very difficult, especially when God is not in the equation, when the mercy of God is absent. When there's no mercy of God in your life, when it's absent, you will walk like elephants but you will be eating like an ant or like a rat. I pray for somebody today from now on. The little effort that you will put in will bring good results in Jesus' name. 
It will bring great results that will shut the mouth of those that we have been insulting you. So the Bible describes the mercy of God in five ways. And these five ways, one of them is God's mercy is great. God's mercy is great. When someone is great, when something is great, it means it's beyond the normal. It has gone beyond the mediocre level. It has gone beyond somebody who is managing. You know, many of us, when we say, ah, oh, you can say we are managing. Stop managing. From now on, begin to direct. Begin to direct. And I pray for you, you'll be directed from now on in Jesus' name. Greatness means you are beyond ordinary. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 7, chapter 54, verse 7, the Bible says, For a moment have I forsaken you. But with great mercy will I gather thee. In a little rot, I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, say the Lord, your Redeemer. The Lord, your Redeemer, will have mercy on you in Jesus' name. The level of your greatness in life depends on how great is the God you serve. The level of your greatness in life depends on how great is the God you serve. Greatness here is not just about materialism, but it's all encompassing. And because you serve a great God, his mercy shall be great in your life in Jesus' name. The Bible also describes mercy in another way. He calls it the mercy of God. They are sure. They are sure it's not about second guessing. It's not about somebody who is not even sure of what he is doing or what is coming next. Our merciful God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to this world to die for our sins. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh unto the Father except through me. He said, and I go to my Father. And if I go to my Father, I will send you a comforter. He was sure. And it's still sure to today. But another religion says that it's not even sure of where he is going. So you have to follow somebody who knows the way. If you follow somebody who does not know the way, both of you will get lost. If a blind man is leading another man, blind man, both of them will end up in the drainage, in the gutters. I pray for somebody today. That great God that you serve, who is sure, we do everything for you as you ask in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Isaiah 55, verse 3, Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even with the sure mercies of David. That sure mercies of David, which God, Jesus Christ has, has come to establish when he came to this world as, as, as a human being shall be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. If you read the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, verse 34 to 35, Acts 13, 34 to 35, the Bible says, and as concerning that, he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption. He said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercy of David. The sure mercy of David shall be your portion in Jesus' name. He has promised you blessings even in heavenly places. He has also assured you of a place in heaven, life after life. And let me tell you, this life is very short, but there's a life after this very short life. And that life, Christ has gone to prepare a place for you. In the book of John chapter 14, verses 1 and 2 say, I have gone to prepare a place for you that where I am, you will be also. So it's sure. Number three, the mercy of God. The mercy of God are abundant. His messages are about that. He won't just do one thing for you and will not do another thing. No, as many, as, as many requests you made to him in righteousness and in holiness, he will answer you. Say, either though you have not asked me anything, they say, now ask that your joy may be full. Your joy shall be full even as you ask him because he has all that you may ask from him in abundance. 
and his message also are abundant. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. If Christ had not resurrected from the dead, then our faith is in vain. Our faith in him is in vain. And there's nothing that you can say. It means there's no hope after life. But thank God, he rose from the dead. I pray for somebody here. Everything that is dead, that is good, that the enemy has killed, they will come back to life in Jesus' name. Isaiah 55 verse 7 says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the righteous and unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for we are abundantly pardoned. Are you living in sin? Do your sin maybe as scarlet, as well as scarlet? Or, I mean, they, 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 they will become as white as snow. Though they be like crimson, they shall become like wood. That's what the, the Lord promised us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse, uh, verse 18. So, brethren, his mercies are abundant. And when you come to him in submission, he will abundantly pardon you. In Jesus' name. The mercies of God are described as tender. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. That's what the Bible tells us in the book of Psalm 25, verse 6. You can also look at Psalm 51, verse 1, and James 5, verse 11. James 5, verse 11. But I will read Luke chapter 1, 78 to 79. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day stream from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Lord will guide your feet into the way of peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Perhaps you are sitting in darkness before now. By the time the other call, call is made, submit your life to God who is the light of the world and will beam his light into your darkness and your darkness will not be uh, there any longer in Jesus' name. His tender mercy will bring you out of darkness onto his marvelous light. That will be your story in Jesus' name. The mercies of God are new every morning. That is why we always encourage you before you go out every morning, ask for his mercy. Before you go every morning, pray unto him. Before you go every morning, praise his name, worship him every morning, morning by morning. There are new mercies for you every day. For 365 days a year, a new mercy every day. I pray for you. You will receive his mercy every day of your life going forward in Jesus' name. Lamentation 3, 22-23. Lamentation 3, verses 22 and 23 says, it is, the, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Brethren without mercy, your destiny will be a mess up. What gives meaning to life is the mercy of God. The mercy of God will give meaning to somebody's life today in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are the one, just say, I am the one. And his mercy will give you, uh, we, we, we ensure that your life is not messed up in Jesus' name. When you sleep every night, brethren, it is his mercy that brings you back to life. Do not be deceived. The fact that you set up your alarm uh, to, to wake you up, so to say, by, by 5 a.m. does not mean if the alarm is placed beside a dead man, he will wake up. He will not wake up. It's because you are still alive that the alarm can int you or can nudge you to wake up. It's God himself that wakes you up every day. Mercy means divine interest. Mercy means divine interest. Unusual intervention in human affairs. What is mercy? Mercy means divine partiality. God deciding to break protocol for your sake. And he did it in the Bible. In the Bible times, he did it. He's still doing it. He will do it for you in Jesus' name. He broke protocol for blind Bartimaeus. He broke protocol for the man beside by the pool of Bethesda because he was not the only person there yet. 
he went to him. And when the man was even without so strong a faith, God intervened. God will intervene in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy is divine partiality. Mercy, is divine partiality. Mercy means divine favoritism, overruling human law. I don't know the law has been passed that may jeopardize your life and your living. The law will overrule such laws in Jesus' name. The man by the side of Jesus, two of them were there, one on the left, one on the right. They were both sentenced to death. The mercy of God overruled. Though, yes, the man still died, but he died in Christ because that same day he was with Christ in every He was to die and go to hell. The mercy overruled that sentence of hell because that same day while he was being hung, he cried for mercy and Jesus had mercy on him. Somebody will cry for mercy today and God will have mercy on you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy means divine favoritism. Mercy means divine interest. Unusual intervention in human affairs. In the book of Matthew chapter 1, verse 17, verses 1 and 2. Matthew 17, 1 and 2. The Bible says, after six days, Jesus take Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them up into an high mountain apart. And was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. I pray for you, you will keep shining in the name of Jesus Christ. You will keep shining, you will shine brighter and brighter until the perfect day in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus singled out these three disciples out of the twelve. The same way, mercy will single you out before the end of this year in Jesus' name. Mercy will single you out before the end of this year in the name of Jesus Christ. We can be at the same level, but God's mercy puts us in classes. The mercy of God will put somebody in a special class today and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. There were 12 disciples. The mercy put three of them in a special class so much that they were so close to Christ. And even apart from the three, there was also the one, John the Beloved. You shall be in a separate class from now on, as mercy speaks for you in Jesus' name. In Esther chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, Esther 2, 15 to 17, there was a story of uh, Esther and other servants or other women who were, if you like, call it contesting. They were contesting to become the next queen. And they were given all sorts of things. But Esther chose the simple, simple things. And eventually, at the end of the day, she became the preferred. And the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace and, her, and favor in his sight, more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. I pray for you, you are the next to be so favored, to be put in a special class in Jesus' name. Brethren, don't be afraid of people who have gone ahead of you. The fact that they are ahead of you does not mean that they will get there before you. Before the end of this year, God will give speed to your, to your feet in the name of Jesus Christ. We have seen cases where some people got married before others, but eventually the one that got married later was able to be fruitful even before the one that got married earlier. It is not how, how far, it is how well. As you embrace the mercy of God, the Lord will take you further and swifter in Jesus' name. It is not your makeup that makes you up, like that woman, Esther. Esther refused to use all the makeups that were prepared. He just used the Little, little thing, small, small things here. And just like Daniel and his three brothers, they refused to spoil themselves with the king's meat and wine. At the end of the day, they were the excellent ones among the many princes and slaves that were chosen to, uh, to, 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 to join the king in ruling. I pray for you. The Lord will put in a special class 
an excellent class where you will excel much more than your peers in Jesus' name. When Esther appeared before the king, something went ahead of Esther. And what was that? Mercy prepared the way. Mercy prepared the way for you. And it's still available for you and I. Only if you ask for it. And as you ask for mercy, the God will have mercy on you in Jesus' name. Among all your competitors, mercy will put you in a class of your own. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Brethren, you may want to ask me, is mercy obtainable even in this generation? Is mercy, is mercy obtainable? Yes. I can tell you, I am a product of mercy. I was not a son of a first woman or first wife of my father. I was not the first one of my mother. I was not the best in my second school class. Neither was I the best in my university set. I was not even the best in the banks I've ever worked. But God sent mercy before me. And here I am. Pray for somebody. As you study with us and you begin to do the will of God, mercy will find you in Jesus' name. Hebrew 4, verse 16. Hebrew 4, verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Brethren, without mercy, after graduation, you may be granted. Please don't leave, like I said earlier, on your house any day without asking for the mercy of God. And as you ask him, he will give you liberally. When mercy is speaking for you, your life cannot be explained. People can't understand how it works. Pray for somebody once again. God will have mercy on you. It is not who you know that matters, but God who knows all. And as you embrace him, that know all, he will prepare your way to become smoother in Jesus' name. I will quickly mention the ten, some 10 wonders of mercy in quick succession. Number one, when mercy is speaking for you, you, you will be preferred above others. Daniel was one man amongst many princes and slaves. Excellent spirit was found in him. Even among his brethren, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he was, he was number one. They were, the, the three of them followed, but he was more excellent than the other. So much that in Daniel chapter 1, if you read 3 to 21, amongst the, the four, he was preferred. Daniel see excel amongst them by mercy. You will excel by mercy in Jesus' name. So much that when the king had a dream, all of them were asked to, 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 to interpret the dream of the king. And he asked for time to go and pray. All the astrologers and wise men of, uh, of the kingdom could not, of Syria, they could not. But eventually, four of them went to pray. But God revealed his mind to Daniel. And by mercy, he was able to interpret the, the, the dream of the king. You, you remember the, king, the dream? He interpreted it. I mean, how terrible could it be? You do not even know the dream. You ask me, who did not dream to come and tell me your dream and see interpret it? But by mercy of God, and by excellent spirit, which was given by mercy, Daniel was able to overcome every uh, evil that the king would have done against him. If you look at the Bible in the book of Daniel 6, 1 to 3, you will understand better. And verse 3 says, Then this Daniel was preferred above all the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole nation. Mercy made Daniel more preferred. Over others. Mercy will make you to be preferred over others in Jesus' name. Number two, mercy makes your life attractive. Mercy is a magnetic force that has effectiveness and color to everything that you do. It draws the right kind of people to you. Elisha's life attracted mercy even when he did not beg for it. The Shunammite woman prepared a place for him to lay his head. In the book of 2 Kings 4, 8 to 17. That did you just told us, I think, uh, either Friday or Sunday, when he went for uh, Mathematics Olympi somewhere in Canada, and uh, there was two among, uh, one among the two that were sent from Nigeria. And when the lead speaker finished speaking, it was like, what will I say? But the night before he was to go for his own turn to speak, he asked for mercy. That after he had finished speaking, Everybody stood up, including the man 
that was a list speaker, stood up, the man who had written then over 100 academic papers, while that the Jew had only written uh, six or uh, 12 or, or, or so, but the man who had written 100 plus and still counting, stood up to clap for him. I pray for you in the class of many, you will be celebrated in Jesus' name. Number three, mercy singles you out. Mercy singles you out for recognition. Mercy singles you out for special recognition. Especially among many in the crowd. And that was what happened to the man by the pool of Bethesda in the book of uh, John chapter 5, verse 9. I want to know if you read the story, there were many there. He's been there forever, for over, for close to 40 years. Each time the angels come to trouble the water, you will need one person to push you inside because every year it's only one person that was healed. This same year, as usual, there were many there who were looking for healing. But Jesus came to the scene. He didn't go to any other person except that, that man by the pool of Bethesda. And the man was made ill. Oh, wow. By mercy. I pray for you. Even if there are 100 people competing for any position, you shall be singled out in Jesus' name. Same thing with Dan Bartimaeus in the book of uh, Mark 10, 46 to 52. I'm sure he was not the only uh, blind man that day in Jericho, but he was one whose eyes was opened by Jesus Christ. Mercy. Number four, mercy links your path with your helpers that will bless you. Those that will assist you. I pray for you. You shall be too blessed to be common in Jesus' name. Psalm 118 verse 7 says, The Lord take my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. The story of uh, Joseph is relevant here. At times you may think a particular situation protests Potential danger and negativity for you, but it may actually be a setup for you to step up. And that was what happened to um, Joseph. He was set up by his brothers. He was set up, he was sold off. He went to Potiphar's house, he was set up, he was in prison. In prison, he interpreted a dream. Eventually, when the king had a dream, he was brought out and he was able to interpret the dream and he was pushed up. And he recorded in Genesis 50, verses 14 to 20, that his brothers meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. I pray for you by mercy. Every evil against you shall turn to your favor in Jesus' name. Number five, mercy commands supernatural favor. Mercy precedes favor. Favor will not come until they have mercy on you. I pray for you. People that will have mercy on you will favor you from now on in Jesus' name. That is the story of Esau and Jacob. Even before they were born, God had mercy on Jacob and favor him. So much that Jacob, though he came out second, became number one. Malachi 1, 1 to 3 says, The body of the word of the Lord to Israel by, by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet you say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Say the Lord. Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. I pray for you. You will receive supernatural favor by mercy today in Jesus' name. Number six, mercy gives you access into places that ordinarily you won't be able to enter. The story of Queen Esther. There's a decree that nobody can appear before the king except the king invited that person. And if that person comes on his own and the king does not strike the scepter, that person was dead. But the Jews cried unto the Lord. They prayed, led by Mordecai and Esther. And when she appeared before the king without being asked to, God send mercy before her, and the king listened to her. And that singular honor delivered the children of Israel from being murdered by the evil Haman. And of course, the Jews were saved, but Haman and his family were hung in the gallows which he prepared for Mordecai. I pray for you. 
But mercy, everyone who has prepared any value for you to enter into, they will replace you there in Jesus' name. Number seven, mercy covers your errors. You may, you may make mistakes, but nobody will notice it. The mess becomes a message. It becomes a perfume. That's what mercy can do. Peter made errors, but mercy covered it because Jesus prayed for him. That was why he did not replace Judas. It would have been the Judas. The mercy spoke for him. Mercy will speak for you in Jesus' name. David committed worse, worse sins than King Saul. Apart from uh, committing adultery, he also committed murder. But God had mercy on him. Mercy cover his error. The blood of Jesus will cover all your errors in the name of Jesus Christ. You can write down Acts of Apostles 13, verses 20 to 23. And number eight, mercy prevails over the self judgment. James 2 13 says, For it shall have judgment without mercy, that as should no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. When God has mercy on you, of course, mercy will come judgment. There are people around you called fault finders. They publicize and announce your mistakes. They wait for the day of your shame. But I pray for you, even as you. Embrace the mercy of God that they shall wait in vain in Jesus' name because Jesus will disappoint them. That's the, see the story of David. He committed adultery and murder. The ways of God are past finding, brethren. He was supposed to die, but he lived. And through his lineage, Jesus Christ came. That is mercy speaking. Romans 11, 20 to 34. The ways of God are past finding. Number nine, mercy gives you divine settlement. Mercy gives you divine settlement. Your prayers can be there, but they, can't, they may not be able to take you anywhere. The God will take you for that. I'll give you an example of my life. After secondary school, my parents said, young man, we have tried our best. You know, we just struggle to send you to school. We are not lettered, and we don't have money. But so far, we have helped you. So God will help you. And they sent me to Lagos to go and fend for that, to go and uh, Fend for myself by God, and God has brought me this far. God will take you far in Jesus. That you are so lost his stories about his life. He grew up in the village. He was among the poor. He told us that his father was poor, was called the poor among the poor. He was poorer. When the poor people are called, his father was the poorest. So also my own father. They tried their best, even in secondary school. I had to, for me to pay 29 to, to, to buy school start a form, it was difficult. But God, by mercy, helped us. Pray for somebody. God, by mercy, will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mercy gives you divine settlement. What your prayers cannot do for you, mercy gives you. Is that Ezekiel 36, 10 to 11 states. Ezekiel 36, 10 to 11. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the city shall be inhabited, and the wastes shall be builded, and I will multiply you upon man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will set to you after your old estates, and I will set to you, and I will set to you, Mercy gives you divine settlement. God will set to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. And I will set to you after the old estate and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And you shall know that I am the Lord. And 1 Peter 5, 8 to 11. Say, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a running lion, walketh about, seeking whom you may devour. Whom would he steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are, but the God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, strengthened, set to you. To him be glory. And dominion forever and ever. Brethren, I don't know what you may have 
gone through or you are going through. They have, you have been working in that place and you have not been treated very well. Just hang on to God. Hold him steadfastly. He's able to make you the preferred. And we shall be set to very soon. The story advance. I mean, I have worked and worked in places. And by God, by thank God, started with me by mercy. My life changed. And I know many of us listening to me today have similar stories of how God has helped you to become what you are today, to bring you to the level that you are today. God, God himself will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Finally, number 10. Mercy silences your adversaries. He keeps them short. He closes their mouth. He puts them to shame. Mercy humiliates your adversaries. I pray for somebody, even as you hate it. He made them change their testimonies about you. And if they refuse to bow, they will bend in the name of Jesus Christ. What your enemies want you to be, they shall be disappointed. And the story of Mordecai, again, readily comes to mind. The man who wanted him to be roasted and buried alive, who prepared a gallow for him, ended up in the gallow. And if you, write, you can write down the book of Esther, chapter 6, verses 4 to 11. But I'll just read um, from verses 7 to 11. And Amon answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, let the royal apparel be brought which the king used to wear, and the horse that the king rided upon, and the crown royal which he set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes, that they may array the man with whom the king delighted to honor, and bring him on horseback through the streets of the city, and proclaim before him. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Then the king said to Amon, Make haste and take the apparel and the horse. As thou hast said, and do even to sue Mordecai the Jew, that said at the king's gate, Let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Then took Amon the apparel and the horse, and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on us back through the streets of the city, and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor. That was the story of Mordecai. He was dishonored by Amon. Amon even planned to kill him. But eventually it was the Amon himself that became a slave for him. Eventually, of course, Amon died in his stead. Pray for you. Mercy. We prefer you. Mercy. We speak for you. Mercy. We silence your adversaries, we silence your mockers, and we shall begin to be celebrated even in their presence in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want us to pray one or two prayers quickly. I say, Father, the words I've had tonight, let it be profitable unto me. Give me the grace to do them. Give me the grace to invite them. Give me the grace to leave them. Give me the grace, O oh Lord to receive your mercy in the day, in the noon, and night, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, when there's only one thing to be given out, and we are many, Father, Lord, let me be the preferred in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, my enemies who are already waiting for the day of my shame, they will not see, but they will see the days of my fame in the name of Jesus Christ. Replace shame with fame for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, by your mercy, every human in my life, Father, silence them. Silence them. Every mock of my life, Lord Jesus, let them begin to celebrate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We say, Father, let your word take deep root in my heart. Let your word take deep root in my heart. Let your word take deep root in my heart. Pray in Jesus' name. We pray, pray, Father, let your word take good fruit in my heart, that you bring forth good fruits in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me fruitful, not only in the body, but in the spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, 
Say, Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on your church. Have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on the whole nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you are a merciful God. Have mercy on me as a person. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on your church. Have mercy on Nigeria as a nation. Have mercy on all the nations and tribes of the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Everlasting God and merciful Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. We come to you once again this afternoon, at this evening, to hear your word, to learn at your feet. Lord Jesus, we ask all that you have had today. Give us the grace to be doers of your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Before we round up, I want you, if you are there listening to us and you are not born again, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. If you are, if you are is what? Do not add in your heart as in the day of provocation in the wilderness. Because those that are hiding their hearts in the wilderness were destroyed. You shall not be destroyed in Jesus' name. You must be born again. The times we are now are challenging and difficult times. Only those who serve God in truth and spirit will be able to weather the storms. And I pray for you. You not only weather the storm, the Lord will keep you alive and well in Jesus' name. What do you do? It's very simple. Jesus has paid the price at Calvary. Just say with me, if you want to give your life to Christ, and say, Father, tonight, I surrender my life to you. I confess all my sins. Help me, Father. Wash me in your blood, Jesus Christ. I write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name. So as you have prayed, the Lord will answer you. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have any, if you want to uh, ask for any counsel or you want more prayers, you can just go to uh, our website, www.rccdvtochapel.com send, .org, rather, .org. Send your prayer request. Send your testimonies. We will pray for you. We will read your prayer request. I mean, we will read and pray for you. And we will read your testimonies and continue to pray for you. And shall we be well with you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Finally, before we go, it's time to give our offering. Uh, the Father, you are watching us from any location. It does not stop you from giving your offering if you choose to. And I encourage you that you don't come to his presence without giving something to him. So if you are interested in doing such, just go to your uh, to our website, www.rcgvtrichapel.org and click on online giving and there will be a drop down for you to, for the type of offering you want to give and as you give the lord will bless you in jesus name also we scroll the uh, banking details on the screen and you can pick the bank account and do direct transfer as you do so god will bless you in jesus name finally just be one prayer father as i go tonight be with me keep me and lord if you tarry in your coming let me be around you. And this Thursday, even tomorrow morning, to link on to your word. And this weekend, and Sunday, and Lord, this year, keep me in your love and keep me in good health, in good shape, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
God bless you. Yes, yes. God bless you, too, Daddy. God bless you. 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 Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.